Rangers been at the top of their game for years, and this is the 520R. They've taken it up a notch for 2023, adding new technology like their ride system, lithium phosphate batteries, the ghost trolling motor, and much more. I'm going to walk you through this boat right now, so step aboard. Now the 520R delivers a really large, roomy console here. You've got dual 12-inch screens, but you've also got Ranger's ride system. Your engine reports through this, giving you your RPM and your miles per hour. You get more data here, fuel burn and things like that. Come back to the home screen. There's all the lights on board. Here's where you operate your pumps. You can operate the audio system if we had it turned on. It's a great system. It gives you easy access to everything on board. And digital switching is just so smooth. Now the wheel is a tilt wheel. You've got the trim switch over here on the throttle lever. And you've also got a smart craft gauge. We also have a touch starter button. Now you expect there to be storage underneath this central step, but you've also got a charger for your phone. What I like is the hatch opens forward, which makes it easier for me to access from the driver's seat. I like the bolsters here at the hips. That gives you a nice secure ride even when you're making sharp turns. On the port side, your passenger gets a console as well. It's got a glove box in it and grab handles. It's removable so that you can take it out if you don't need it. It's also optional. Now the first thing you'll notice when you step up on this foredeck is that it's thickly padded under the carpet. That's going to reduce fatigue as you fish all day long for your tournament winning catch. You've got a butt seat here with two different positions. You can also add a casting chair. If you step forward even further, you'll see that you've got a recessed pedal pocket. You really need that to keep yourself comfortable all day long. We've got a 12-inch HDS display here, and it works with the Lowrance Ghost trolling motor, allowing you to navigate through your display and follow a course around the lake. You've even got a cup holder and a tool holders right here where they're handy while you're fishing. Now on the port side, you've got an enormous rod locker here. It's got a three-tier setup that you can lay your rod butts on, stacking them, and then there are tips forward to protect the guides. You've also got tackle storage inside. Now right here in the center locker, you've also got another rod rack, plus plenty of storage for tackle boxes underneath. On the starboard side, that's great for dry storage. Aft of this dry storage area is a smaller one. It'd be a good place to keep your inflatable life jackets. When you step down on the deck, the step is actually more than a deck. It's a cooler, and there are shelves on either side to hold your sandwiches and keep them out of the ice. I like the fact that there are tool racks on either side here, and you've got a measuring board over here on the starboard side. Now, if you're fishing from the fore and aft decks, you've got plenty of room back here. There's two live wells here, and you operate those from the ride touch system on your screen there. You've got a starboard and a port dry storage compartment, and then aft is a wide hatch that gives you plenty of access to your build. There's a spare prop holder down there, in addition to the tracker lithium batteries and the lithium starting batteries. There's also a pro charge system that handles the charging duties. The 520R by Ranger is about as high tech as they come. I love the integration of all the electronics through the ride screen and through the Lowrance HDSs. Digital switching is the wave of the future, and so is the Ranger 520R. I'm Randy Vance.